Today we're in Noonan, Georgia, and we're headed over to Twin Aircraft Engines. That's who is putting together a brand new Lycoming O320. I have big plans for this engine as we have secured another Musketeer in North Carolina, and it needs an engine. So we're gonna get the engine built by Twin Aircraft Engines here, head over to North Carolina, hang that on the plane. If all goes well, fly it back home. But the first step is to get an engine. So let's go in and check the progress on this O320. In case you've never seen a zero time brand new overhauled engine, here's a bunch of them. When an aircraft engine is overhauled, all of the major components, including the crankshaft, the camshaft, the connecting rods, or several other key components, the gears, accessory drives, all of those components have to be checked and either back to factory specs or replaced. And that's what they do here at Twin Aircraft Engines. Once all the components are either checked and meet the factory specs or bought as new, they reassemble everything here at Twin Aircraft Engines and that's what we're going to do now, to check on our engine. Here we have our brand new, zero time sense major overhaul, Lycoming O320. And as you can see, we splurged a little on some polished valve covers and push rod tubes, a couple of other goodies. We have big plans for this engine. We're gonna keep you updated on the channel, so make sure you stay tuned. So as we mentioned earlier, all the major components, such as the cylinders, the crank located in the center of the engine, the push rods, the pistons, the accessory case, the gears inside, all of this stuff has to be checked and meet factory specs or it has to be replaced. So everything on this engine is new and it's ready to go back in. We just have to put a few of the components on such as the magnetos, carburetor here on the bench and once we get the final assembly done, should be ready for pickup. I think it's safe to say, just from the condition they keep their shop in, that our Lycoming is in good hands with twin aircraft engines. There will still be a break-in procedure we'll need to do when we get the engine back, and I'll be sure to include that on the channel and show you all exactly what goes on with the break-in procedure and how we do that. But for now, it's time to head back to Ace. We'll catch you in the next one. See you.